Hello everyone and welcome back to another NASCAR Bass Pro Shops Truck Series race. We're here for race number 8 at Chicagoland Speedway. And we're past halfway in the season here. As we have just have a couple more races to go until we enter the playoffs. Here for the Bass Pro Shops Truck Series. The points will definitely matter for right now and on for the rest of these next few races. As let's get started with your starting lineup here at Chicagoland. On the pole, you have Ma the 90 of Matthew Hill and the 63 of Random Kitty and Fanboy. Then you have Legends in the 48 and Nathan Stapleton in the 97 in that brand new scheme as well. Then you have Charlie Davenport in the 8 and Trevor Williams Jr. in the 44. Then you have Ryan Duraney in the 45 and NASCAR Fan in the 69. Then you have Reggie Fogelman in the 16 and Chris Black in the 2. And then you have Anderson Reed in the 81 and AJMRC 42 in the 75. Then you have Johnny Cox in the 98 and Joe the T in the 86. Then you have the 51 of NASCAR Billy and then Joshua Harrison in the 18. Then you have Aiden Wegner in the 02 and Aaron Martinez in the 22. Then you have Mitchell Collins in the 4 and Patrick Miller in the 04. You have Draco in Racing in the 42 and Citron in the 54. You have Jeremiah's in the 99 and Bronson Minnick in the 24. Then you have Napa NASCAR Heat in the 6 and Slinky in the 28. Then you have Bradley Ream in the 9 and last race's winner, the Gaming Freak in the 23. Then you have Dominic Luba in the 1 and then you have Samat Austin in the 12. And then to round out the field, you have Kyler Anderson in the 25. And just like that, that is the starting lineup here at Chicagoland. And Kyler Anderson was the only truck that failed post-qualifying inspection, so he'll start from the rear. Anyway, let's get the truck's engine started and get rolling here at Chicagoland for race number eight. Drivers, start your engines! the trucks are rolling here from Chicagoland once again the 90 of Matthew Hill on the pole random KDM fan in second legends in third and Sableton fourth and Charlie Davenport will round out your top five in their starting positions here at Chicago get ready here to go here from Illinois nice 80 degree weather today and Matthew Hill and that brand new 40 EcoBoost scheme is ready to lead the field under green flag conditions for the first time today. Just a couple more races to go in the regular season. Past halfway as the pace truck will dive down pit road. And we are underway here at Chicagoland Speedway for race number 8 in the NASCAR Bass Pro Shops Truck Series. Alrighty, diving down 3 wide for the lead. Legends of the 48 trying to take it away from Matthew Hill and Random K and Fanboy. And he's going to clear off turn 2, but he's got a competitor down on the inside, Charlie Davenport. Can he get there to send it three wide? No, he cannot. The 48 will shut the door and get on his way off turn four to lead the first lap of your Chicago land. Now two trucks are clear of three wide battle back behind us. See more trucks back here as well in this mess. You see the 69 all the way on the top. Almost into the wall, almost contact right there with a couple of trucks lucky to get away from that one you see there's still four wide right here Matthew Hill also he's dropping back remember he started on the pole and now he's all the way on the outside lane he's getting freight trained by all the trucks on the inside that is something you definitely don't want here as he is going from the front to the back right now see more trucks are getting passed and more three wide battles back there behind the pack 
And you see right here, the 48 and the 8 have pulled away from third place, which are which also has the battle. And you see right here, again, four wide right here. This is the last four wide battle that I see. The 16 just got the wall. That's Freddy Fogelman. Aiden Wegner in the middle of this. Remember, Aiden Wegner went, got a win at Watkins Glen under caution. And Trevor Williams Jr. here as well. He's had an alright season so far, so on board with him. See, just a lot of trucks in front of that 44. And they're mostly single file, uh, back by the front, right here. See Nathan Stapleton getting passed by the 98, Johnny Cox. The fifth, for fourth, excuse me. And this is the pass for fifth, that's Mitchell Collins, the four, trying to pass the 97. Nathan Stapleton. Nathan Stapleton in that new uh, JBL ski. Pretty nice looking ride there for him. He was previously in the green truck. The red and blue. And uh, you see back here another battle. And there, there is that 90 year pole sitter all the way back here now. Only lap six. So, less than 50 to go here. The 48 of Legends still leading the way ever since lap 1. He's led every single lap at this point. And he's, he's got a couple trucks behind him. I mean, this is a four truck battle for the lead right now if they can try to pass this 48. But the 48 is just laying laps down right now. As there they go to the inside. Charlie Davenport trying to make a move to the lead for the first time today. Can he make it stick? No, it doesn't look like he can, but he's going to try to keep that bumper to the inside to show the 48. He is there, and he does. He's side by side with the leader. 48 of Legends finally has a competitor. Can we have a new leader today? And we do. Charlie Davenport will lead for the first time here at Toronto Land. Charlie Davenport was pretty close to getting a couple wins this season. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up getting one. And today might be his day. They see right here, Randy Durani as well. Trying to fight for second between the 48. As you see right there, Johnny Cox goes three wide here off turn four for fifth place. Along with Jeremiah's and Mitchell Collins, but Johnny Cox will lift and give that spot to them as they fight for fifth. Another through wide battle though, NASCAR Billy, Talladega winner, is in this battle. Randy Randy's still fighting for second. This might help Charlie Davenport pull away a little bit. And now he's gonna get passed by the 48, and now on the outside is Nathan Sableton, trying to look for third. More three wide battle right here. Napa NASCAR Heat in there as well. Johnny Cox trying to hold on to the outside, but I don't think it's going to work too long. You see right here, Jeremiah's now moving through the field. He's up to fourth. More three wide battles. Almost four wide right here. Watch out, boys. Almost four wide with Chris Black. And Kyler Anderson as well. Kyler Anderson started in last place. He's already up here in the top 15. So, it's pretty interesting. How Chicago Land works. And his teammate Bradley Green is right behind him on the outside lane. Here's Citron as well. Citron has not had a very good season, but trying to look for something to go his way. See right here, Nathan Stapleton getting past on the inside once again for sixth place. See Napa NASCAR Heat trying to follow through. Trying to freight train this 97 on the outside lane. And well on Dominic Luba as well. I'm pretty sure he was pretty far near the back. He's already up here in the top 10. So pretty good run for him as well. Jeremiah is trying to go to the inside. Rain to Randy over here in turn three. It's not gonna work. But that battle for six still goes on with Nathan Nathan Stapleton Napa NASCAR Heat. As you see right there, look at that. Those trucks just snake to the bottom of the, uh, the number one there. Dominic Luba. Remember, Dominic Luba had a wild ride at Talladega. Flipped into the catch fence and came back the next week 
with that Emirates truck that has ran it ever since. And you see right here, Battle of the Lead is coming. The 48 wants it back from Charlie Davenport. Can he get there? I mean, he's right there on his bumper. It just doesn't look like he has a run right now. But he does have the third place battle right behind him. So that might help just a little bit. Put some pressure on this eight as he is doing right now. See, he has a better corner right now, but he does not the runoff kind of like the eight does. I mean, he's just right, right on his bumper. He can't find a way around him right now because the eight is taking his lines away. And that's going to help the 99 Jeremiah's catch up. You see right here, Nathan Sableton getting trained on the outside lane. And Rain to Randy as well. There goes the 48 all the way to the bottom of the track right there. And he's not even going to get a good run off the turn because the 8 has the better angle into the corner. And now Jeremiah is going to try to try to look for second place. NASCAR Billy trying to follow through as well. Trying to maybe, if the 48 can pass this 99 back, if he can try to follow through, we get third from Jeremiah's. Lap 17 out of 54 here at Chicagoland. Let's go crank it up. it up in Chicagoland as you're riding all along with Dominic Luba who found his way all the way down to the back unfortunately. See right here battle for second place Jeremiah is now on the inside of Legends in the 48. And they're pretty much letting that 8 pull away of Charlie Davenport here on lap 21 coming to 22 this time by. I mean, this this battle is doing nothing but like that eight truck pull away. So, and then now they're going three wide for fourth place. And the six of Napa NASCAR Heat looks like he's gonna keep that spot for now, and he's gonna shut the door down to the bottom and try to look for the 99. You see right here, the 23, the Gaming Freaky Last Races winner. Maybe he could be the first driver to go back to back here in the Bass Pro Shop Jerk Series. 
Jeremiah's trying to look for second again on Legends. He's not going to get there, but he's going to be side by side. Down the back straightaway. And we'll let the 8 continue to pull away this lead. Nathan Stapleton now all the way to the back. So, pretty good chunk of our front runners have unfortunately fell to the back here at Chicagoland, but they'll work their way back up as long as the race progresses. As you see, the Gaming Freak will enter the top five very shortly. And Aiden Wegner, don't look now. Aiden Wegner is here in the top five. He's looking on the outside, maybe trying to thread the needle here in three wide for fourth place. The Gaming Freak is there as well. Gaming Freak trying to go back to back for the first time. He's definitely not going to give up just because he won one race. See the 48 now dropping to the back from the fastest trucks here all day so far. He's now found the outside lane. And the 12 is Matt Oskin as well. Don't look now. As well, Kyler Anderson is here. Top 10 once again. And it's been single file for the front seven. Right here. Charlie Davenport, Jeremiah's, Snap Askar Heat, Gaming Freak, Aiden Wegner, Kyler Anderson, and Samat Oskin. Those trucks are all single file right now. As you see, the six is going to try to look for second place. Coming in turn three. He's there. He's to the inside. But can he get a runoff to keep that battle underway here? Or is the 23 going to try to benefit from this? And he's going to go to the outside of the 6. This might help the 23 get 3rd place. And he does. Wow, he just blasts right by him. Can he clear off turn 2? I mean, he definitely has to run off. I think he can do it. I think he can just clear right here. He does. So, Gaming Freak up to 3rd. Seems like a long run fast truck is that 23. Here's a 25. Tyler Anderson trying to work for a top five. Lap 28 out of 54 here at Chicago Lane. So we got a long ways to go here. Joe with a T to the inside of NASCAR fan. Right here. One of the battles throughout the field. Tyler Anderson now getting passed by the 12 of Samantha Oskin, who's going to dive it down in the corner. But it looks like 25 might be able to keep the spot. And I think he does. Yes, he closes the door on Samantha Oskin. Jeremiah is catching up to a leader. As you see, the 23 going to try to down down to the inside in turn one. Not going to get there. But he's still going to have the momentum coming off turn two. Is he going to try to look to the inside here? He does. And he's there. To the inside for second place. The Gaming Freak, your last race's winner. Trying to go again back to back. Here, Chicagoland and Pensacola. Can he do it? Can he be the first driver to ever go back to back in the Bass Pro Shop Truck Series? I mean, he's got the truck right now. It's that truck looks amazingly fast at this moment, and he's trying. He's still trying to pass for second, but he's got that six trying to peek down to the inside. It doesn't do. He goes in fact straight up, gives Tyler Anderson that spot. Oh, they're pitting. The leaders are pitting, and here they come. For the first time today, Charlie Davenport will lead them down to pit road. And a truck just went into the grass. I'm not sure who that was. Pretty sure it was still green. But let's see who exits pit road first and who has the fastest pit stop. Also, here, here's Chris Black coming off pit road. I believe he came down first, as well as the 48. Remember, the 48 fell to the back after being in front for so many laps. And he came down pit road first. Maybe a good strategy pull right here by the 48. We'll find out. As it looks like the 8 will lead off pit road. Oh, well, will, will it not, actually? That's the 99. Charlie Davenport was still on pit road there. He's going to exit third behind Jeremiah's gaming group. So that'll be interesting. Here comes... The trucks that came down to pit road a lap ago, the 48 Legends is one of them. 
can he beat everybody off pit road here and get the lead? He'll be close. I think he'll be right behind this 25, if anything. So a pretty good strategy there by the 48 to get himself back in front where he was for multiple laps in this race. You'll see another pack of pitters this time. Aiden Wegner, one of them. Slinky. And a couple more. And this is actually the pack that stayed out another lap. As you see, here comes the 99. They're going to blast right by this 02. So, very good strategy for the 48 as well. As you see, he's going to still be in the front no matter what here. So, a lot of uh, some guys still have contention to win this race. You see Aaron Martinez just exiting pit road. So now Jeremiah is, is your new leader. Aiden Wegner is trying to keep third here. Just came off pit road about a lap ago. But Kyler Anderson can take that spot. Kyler Anderson from last to third. Can he be the first driver to go from last to first to the win on a non-super speedway here in the NASCAR Basketball Shop Truck Series? And he's got help. He's got the 48 as well. As you see, the front two are going to try to battle. I mean, they got time, but they're going to try to close in on that. Th uh, the third place trucks are going to close in. As you see, more battles throughout the back here. Mostly two truck battles, since the field is now spread out from pit stops. And we're coming to 20 to go this time by, believe it or not. Ben Green, all race so far, trying not to jinx anything, knock on wood. And the 23 Gaming Freak is right there for the lead here. Trying to go back to back from Pensacola to Chicago Land. It would help him dramatically in the points. But Jeremiah is going to try to hold on right now for his first truck win. As you see, the 23 is trying to do every single line that 99 is not running. But I mean, he's going to get a run off this corner. It don't matter if he dives down in turn one here to the inside, which he might do. He has that run. There he goes. To the inside for the lead. Can the Gaming Freak get there? No, he cannot. He's going to have just a little bit of momentum, but it's going to be mostly lost right there. But here's the battle for fourth. That'll help the 25 catch up to the front two. And it'll help one of those two trucks make history if they can win this race. Here's the 28 of Slinky as well back here. 28 came out of pit road late, but he's still up here in the top 10. So some of these guys are in contention to win if those front two do end up battling or getting into each other. And it looks like they're starting to catch up to those front two relatively fast. As you see, the 23 is still trying to look for a way around this 99. It's been pretty hard to pass here at Chicagoland for the leaders anyway. Let's take a ride on board with what the 23 sees. He's going to try to get bottom once again. Can he get there this time? He's going to be close. May have a bumper to the quarter panel of a 99. And he, I think he does. Can he try anything in turn three? No, the 99 is going to be clear and shuts the door. And here comes the 25, Kyler Anderson. That attempt at the pass might have ended the 23's chances unless he has another shot by defending this 25 for second place. Kyler Anderson trying to go from last to first. Gaming Freak trying to go back to back. Both for the first time in series history. Gaming Freak has went deep into the corner that time. Can he get a run? If he tries the pass and doesn't make it, he might get passed by the 25 for second place. And he goes to the bottom. 25 of Tyler Anderson to the inside. But the 23 is going to stay on the outside. Does this give him a run to possibly pass this 99? Oh, he lost so much momentum. He was right on the 99's bumper. And now he's a couple car lengths back. They're still battling for third. This may, may give him one more shot at this lead. 
Lap 41 out of 54, coming to 10 to go. Not too long from now, the gaming freak trying to look for series history. If he can get the lead, he might be able to pull away. Trying to, trying to go in every single lane possible. The 99 isn't running. Trying to go lower. Trying to go higher. Trying to get any kind of run that the 23 is better than the 99. But the 99 is blocking every single lane that he can right now. Here goes the 25. Can he send it deep? He does. He shows the 23 the bumper in his mirror on the quarter panel of the 23. But the 23 will be clear. And once again, the 23 lost momentum to the 99 for running the outside. It's not that he wants to run the outside, he, he's forced to run the outside because the 25 is going to the inside of the 23. So he kind of just has to not try to wreck himself by going to the bottom again. As you see, he's still gaining ground. I mean, he's faster than this 99 right now. That's the thing. He, he looks a lot faster. He just has not been able to pass. Every time he tries, he gets either pass on the inside or does not get the run off the corner at all. Like the 99 Jeremiah's can. Can Jeremiah's hold on to this one? That's the better question. I mean, he's been doing a great job right now. Ever since they left Pit Road. As you see right here, going to the inside. Gonna try to almost make contact. That's how close it gets. And now we got a battle for the lead. Side by side. Down the next straightaway. Coming to 10 laps to go this time by. The 0 2 Aiden Wegner is right there, almost sent it three wide. And now, Aiden Wegner is going to give the 23 the help he needs to go to the lead. And the 23 of Gaming Freak will take the lead. Can he hold on for 10 more laps to go back to back? They're battling for second. This is exactly what that 23 wants to see. He wants to see them battling so he can pull away. Coming at nine laps to go. Aiden Wegner through to second. Can he catch this 23? Can the 23 defend the lead like Jeremiah's did for almost 10 laps? We'll find out. Let's see. Nine laps to go. Can the Gaming Freak do it? Can he make serious history? And go back to back wins the amount of points he would have in the point standings would probably give him the regular season championship but the O2 Aiden Wegner is right there can the O2 make a pass that was sooner than the 23 he's gonna try right here there he goes got help to the inside Kyler Anderson's gonna push the O2 into the corner and it looks like he does have the side-by-side -side battle right there off of turn two and that's probably not what the 23 wanted at all and there goes Aiden Wegner to the lead Slinky going three wide in turn three almost made contact with Kyler Anderson and Slinky is gonna take second place what a move by the 28 truck and he's clear in a turn one with the push from the 99 Jeremiah's. And now the 23 is falling way behind the pack. Probably out of contention to win. As you see the 25 of Kyler Anderson. Now the only truck left to try and make NASCAR Bass Pro Shops Truck Series history. See more trucks back here. The closest lap truck is Aaron Martinez. But it looks like we won't catch him. The 25 of Kyler Anderson try to go to the inside of Slinky. Not going to get there, but he's going to be close. He's got the momentum off of turn two. He's going to try to push that 28 to try to look for the lead. And he's going to try to go to the outside and arc it down to get a better exit. And he kind of does. He gets a little bit of a draft there as well. But not enough to make a pass. Coming to four laps to go next time by. Here goes the 25. Kyler Anderson almost making contact with the 28. Now he's to the inside of Slinky, but he will be cleared off of turn two. Here comes Jeremiah. Jeremiah is trying to get back into this, and he does to the inside of 25 of Kyler Anderson. 
but do not look now because here comes that 48. One of the fastest trucks all day back inside the top five. But here goes the 28. Trying a different lane. That's what the 23 needed to do. Coming to three to go. But it doesn't work for the 28. On board with the 02. The 02 trying to get his second win of the season. His first one was at Watkins Glen. It ended under caution. May not have been as, as deserving. But a win is a win in the series. As you see, Slinky trying to go to the inside there. Three wide for third place. Third place out of contention. It is now up to Slinky and Aiden Wegner for the win here at Chicagoland. Coming to two laps to go. 99 Jeremiah is, is not helping Kyler Anderson's case. Two laps remaining here at Chicagoland Speedway. Slinky diving down to the inside. Oh, and almost slides up. But he's going to have a bumper to the inside. Side by side down the back straightaway. Coming to the white flag this time by. Can he try to deep one more deep heave to the inside? He can. He's going to have a run off turn four. White flag is in the air. Caution free race is official this time by. One to go. Can Aiden Wegner or Slinky win this race? Aiden Wegner looking for two. Slinky looking for his first in the Bass Pro Shops truck series. Slinky has a NASCAR Samsung National Series win. They're still side by side. Down the back straightaway. Can Kyler Anderson get there? No, he can't. He's going to try, but he's going to be close. Still side by side. This is going to be close. Off turn four at Chicagoland. It's going to be Slinky winning it for the Bass Pro Truck Series. Slinky in the John Deere 28 gets it done in a very close finish here at Chicagoland. What a finish. What a race. Caution free. 54 laps. Let's go see your finishing results here from Chicagoland. Slinky wins at Chicagoland over Aiden Wegner by 31 thousandths of a second. Kyler Anderson gets third after starting dead last, so a pretty good run for him and Rail Fan Motorsports. Jeremiah finishes fourth. Legends finishes the top five. Very good pit strategy. Finally pulled it off there to finish in the top five. Charlie Davenport finishes sixth. Gaming Freak in seventh. Very good points for him the last couple weeks. Napa NASCAR Heat in eighth. Bradley Ream in ninth. And Samet Oskin will finish round out your top ten. Chris Black will finish 11th. Citron 12th. Reggie Fogelman 13th. Patrick Miller 14th. Random Kitty and Fanboy, starting in the front row, will finish 15th. Joshua Harrison, 16th. Joe the T, 17th. 18th is Dominic Luba. Mitchell Collins, 19th. And rounding out your top 20 is the 45 of Ray and Durani. Anderson Reed in 21st. Johnny Cox in 22nd. NASCAR Billy in 23rd. NASCAR Fan in 24th. Bronson Minnick in 25th. Draco in Racing, 26th. And 27th is your pole sitter, Matthew Hill. And 28th is Trevor Williams Jr. And 29th is AJMRC, 42. Nathan Stapleton will finish 30th. And Aaron Martinez will finish 31st. All trucks on the lead lap. And all the trucks that finished the race. One of the first times in Bass Pro Truck Series history. And that is pretty much it here at Chicagoland. And a very congratulations to the 28 of Slinky for winning the race once again. And um, very close finish. Very good finish. And we'll see you guys for race number 9 at Gateway. And the 28 will be on track for burnouts shortly.